Hey folks, this is Adam. <laughs> and I'm Amy. And we're about to watch, this is The Night. Come on, I wanna lay ya. That's my <laughs> Joey Styles voice. <laughs> Dance atop the ECW arena. So stick around, we're gonna go over all of that. So do you know who Kimona Wanalea is? No. Okay, so... I've East... heard you mention her, but I don't know. Right. In the, no. in the 90s. Okay. I think this was Heat Wave, ECW in the 90s. Um, ECW came out of Philadelphia. You saw Rob Van Dam. Yeah, they are like the cool, yeah. like, edgy wrestling. I right. liked all their stuff. The Sandman was super cool. Yes. It was just oh, yeah. horrible, bad role model. It was awesome. Now, the story with ECW is that WWE was getting real cheesy. Okay. So was WCW. It was guys of fighting tax men and fighting clowns and fighting... So, like, they really were doubling down on, like, the cheesy gimmicks, Children. which sometimes yeah. I like, but... Occupational gimmicks. They were getting worse, and you really haven't seen the really bad stuff yet. Okay. Like, in terms of just everyday boring, mm -hmm. oh, it's a bunch of clowns versus some 80s rappers. So, and they're, like initial audience their core audience of fans in the 80s were getting older and at this point i'm mm -hmm. assuming a lot know, of them were getting tired of it yeah. And, yeah, wwe kind of kept reaching for younger kids and there was a group of people that were growing up and ecw yeah. run by paul Heyman and todd gordon came up with an organization that played modern music okay um played music videos um what was it like rob zombie and metallica and etc 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 guns and roses and nirvana i'm in yeah, and so it was cutting edge there. It had violence, and the gimmicks were realistic. They were like real people you would see, guy who likes Nirvana versus guy who likes Megadeth or whatever. And <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it, right? But and, rock and roll and violence, yeah. awesome. Love it, yes. And a lot of their managers mm -hmm. were former strippers and hot girls and girlfriends of the wrestlers. Oh, yeah. okay. So... Sex, violence, rock and roll. Yeah. That's like highway to hell. Like we're going like, I love it. So for our fans out here, Amy is new to wrestling. This is her first summer watching wrestling. So we're trying to show her different stuff and you recommended we show her some ECW because a lot of our fans are nostalgia era 90s, yeah. 2000s wrestling fans, attitude era fans. Yep. So can you explain to her, because I don't remember and I'm watching this for the first time since I watched it as a kid why uh, it, they had to buy some time like the power went out the cable feed went out something happened at heat wave and paul Heyman, the owner said hey kimona can you go dance for the fans and she's just the hero and saves the night yeah yeah so That's here amazing. she is does a strip tease i think she pops out of her outfit at some point like burp. like mm, <laughs> but i'm thinking the bottom part oh my yeah goodness. yeah if you watch real closely <laughs> you can see it now this has been scrubbed it's not on wwe network it's not on youtube because it's very adult we found it on uh, the site. We're gonna watch it. You'll have to. You can watch along. We'll put a few pictures on screen, but we have to keep it fairly PG. This is all an elaborate ruse to log into uh, Hub on yeah. my account, so mm -hmm. you can see what I've been. Oh, I didn't see that yet. What have you been looking <laughs> no, at? No, how many? Nothing, nothing. How many girls have you been watching? Nothing. All right, so I'm pressing play on this. It'll start off here in a moment, okay. but it's Kimona Wanalea, the night she danced atop ECW Arena. They should make a movie out of that, like the night the like stripper saved the show. Oh yeah, I like that. I love it. That's the, the, every night for me. <laughs> every night is the night. the night. And the thing is, like, there's some argument over, like, she, there's some claims that she didn't necessarily want to be released on the DVD or on the VHS tape okay. or anything. Like she was just doing it for the live audience, like yeah. one time only. Yeah. If you were lucky enough to be here, you get to see it. But this came out on. Um, VHS and it sold a lot of copies and Paul Heyman made a lot of money. I don't think she gets residuals off of oh my it. Goodness, so here it's exciting. playing. Yes. So Kimona, how old do you think she is here? Twenty four. Okay. She? And um, that's where she pops out. You can kind of see a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can we rewind that? <laughs> no, I don't. Well, you can later. Okay. It's on your account, so. And um, she's actually, like, I've got her on Facebook now, uh, Christina Laum, Laum, um, really sweet lady, still posts a little bit moderately, like, sexual memes, like, she's kind of yeah. fun, she's kind of edgy. She it, is great at what she does. She's wow. a great dancer, right? Great and calves? I'm an ECW fan now. <laughs> I already liked it before, because I liked that, you know, it had the rock and roll yeah. feel, you felt like you're at a concert. Yeah. Love the performers. I like the crowd when we saw that, like, the, those people were just 
tanked. Like, they were so drunk and rowdy and kind right. of fun. I like the energy of it. So I'm assuming <clears throat> that the crowd is just going crazy right yeah. now. And, but... Well, and you'll notice the only thing that Amy has seen That's... so far was John Cena versus Rob Van Dam, which was WWE's attempt to recreate this. They bought the mm -hmm. company and they tried to... Put the bring the fans in. Put the wrestlers right, versus like WWE guys. Yeah, only. one night stand. Yeah, one night stand. Look at this guy just taking zoomed wow. pictures of. She is just down on that. Is a very dirty floor. Yeah, is that? Yeah. I love it. Wow. So what do you? She is amazing. She is a great dancer. I would go to more strip clubs if there was this level of and, talent there. And COVID. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So uh, if you look. Whoa! Did, what the... <laughs> Another. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the other notes here is there's a lot of holes being pushed into the drywall in, right now. Is that what the... Look, there are guys just poking holes in the drywall from the locker room so they can see. They're literally poking holes in the wall. This lady needs a biopic. Like, the night people started tearing down walls to see her strip I would, yeah, I, would, I would have poked a hole in the wall one way That's or the other. Amazing. She is, like, taking her outfit off underneath a towel... Mm -hmm. And then putting it back on underneath the towel. That's She's talented. very talented. She's a very yes. talented young lady. Whoa! I don't know who she might have been dating at this point. Like, I, I assume that maybe she was dating, like, Raven or somebody. So, Is again, Raven a girl? Raven's a boy, but I like, no, your, I like the way you like, think. It sounds like a girl's name. So, um, leave us a comment below if you know, like, how she got involved There's in wrestling. There's another hole! There's, the, you notice these holes are getting bigger and more frequent. The boys are very interested in seeing this. Are you wearing your John Cena shirt yes. for a ECW? Ooh, you'd be kicked out of the arena. And she put her outfit back on somehow under the yeah, towel. Yeah, it's magic. She's so good at what she does. I'm glad that she has that towel on the floor yeah, now yeah. because the floor is like freaking me out. I don't want her touching that too much. I like a dancer who brings a blanket for the <laughs> stage. <laughs> We've seen that before. Yeah, we, one time we went, it was Tampa. And uh, Tampa's, you know. So that story was this lady said her knees hurt, so she brought like... Just a full-size blanket with her on stage. She did not have Komodo Wanalea's dancing no, skills. No. She was much older. But she just took, like, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that happened. So I have to wonder. I don't know what we're This can't be legal, say, right? So I'm just like, man. Nah. <laughs> this can't be legal? Because. Wait, she's allowed to dance. There, there is no age restriction to get in the door. You can't do a striptease for 10-year-olds, can, dance can as you? as long as you don't take anything off. Things popped out. And she did take everything off. <laughs> but she had a towel around her. Kind of. They, are they tipping her dollars through the holes oh, now? Oh my goodness. Yeah, she, she only made a dollar for this. This isn't fair. And... Look how dirty that towel is now because it was on the ground. Yeah. I know I'm... Too, oh my god, yeah. I'm too... You're worried, worried about, about her it, hygiene. But yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I want my ladies to be clean. <laughs> that is not good. <laughs> yeah. There is a certain level of clean to dirty ratio that has to hit an apex. She's good at what she does. Yeah. And this is they can't see what you're you. doing, so you can't just say she's good. I, there is no other words that I'm allowed to say on YouTube <laughs> to describe what she's doing. <laughs> I'm not falling for it. You're not getting uh, in trouble. We are not no, getting but you, you, you can... for this. No. <laughs> so that's unfortunate part about YouTube. They WWE and YouTube have done everything they can to take. I think she's got a finger in. Um. <laughs> Nothing you can say. You cannot talk about those fingers. <laughs> Our thumbnails is gonna be. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so. Over here, just like you guys. Are you guys crazy. are crazy. So. But that's incredible. So all the people that came to ECW that night were just like, "Whoa, surprise, extra bonus!" Like, what do they call? Like in baseball, when you get extra innings or something mm, like this. This is, is overtime. Like, this is like a halftime show. They got a halftime show. I think would be the correct. But term. you got like way more than you paid for. If you thought you were just gonna see some dudes wrestling, and then all of a sudden you get to see this. Yeah. Like that's. But and it's interesting because WWE tried to emulate this and do a lot. You, you saw their attempts with Sable and. But this is like. This is more authentic. Authentic and yeah. dirty and like almost <clears throat> like. It seems like we shouldn't be pop, watching this. Yeah, what makes it better? Yes. Things could pop out. You don't know, like what might happen. It, it, it has that feeling of anything could happen. Like people could punch holes in the wall and stick dollars through it. Like it's really crazy. Yeah, she could. Uh, she's gonna need a tetanus shot after the show, okay. I think. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm really uh, some a couple knees. shots. She's yeah. gonna need a couple I'm shots. For her knees for sure. And I, yeah. 
but <laughs> it's awesome. So then, and like, you hear rumors that this is happening at ECW. You're yeah. going to show up to ECW. That's the thing. Like, you're going to show up, you're going to buy the DVDs. They showed still images. She's licking parts of her own yeah. body. Yeah. They showed still images of this, and they just said, buy the, buy the VHS and see the night Kimona Wanalea danced atop the ECW arena. This was the first adult thing I ever searched on the internet. Wow, you were old. <laughs> I was, you were six. <laughs> Four, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, then there's this guy's running by in the background. This is a, she put on a heck of a show. That's amazing. So if this was your first exposure, and it is your first exposure to real ECW. This is your first time. I'm a fan. I love right. it. Right. Yes. Compared yes. to I'm the wrestling trash man or I'm the yeah. guy from New Zealand. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I see why it was wildly popular. I'm almost sad that it kind of like got swallowed up and mm -hmm. watered down because this is like, it seems like almost what's wrong with WWE today is that they don't have that competition. It's mm -hmm. kind of like forcing it to maybe push the envelope or yeah. not. I, I understand from a business standpoint why they want to be friendly for advertisers. Sure. Like, that's it's why money. We, that's, that's money. Why Kids we, are money. Yeah, we can't say whatever we want on YouTube or whatever. You know, you have to worry about that. But it does water things down. You were talking this week, we were watching... Um, Howard, or listening to Howard Stern, mm -hmm. and he's no longer saying curse words. Yeah, he said he's not saying the bad curse words anymore. And he says because he's trying to clean up his act. And no, it's sponsors. Yeah, it's it's sponsors. sponsorships, Everything's right? Everything's run by ad money. And so it's nice to go back to an era of ECW where it was just kind of like, no, we're yeah. going to be crazy. Um, this Perfection. week, this week, Jim Ross, and depending on watch this probably a couple weeks ago, depending on when we upload this, I'll probably upload this pretty quick. Um, Jim Ross in a AEW, the new wrestling organization mm -hmm. that he's working for, um, he said something to the degree, I think he was talking about Tessa Blanchard or one of the wrestlers, I don't know. Um, and it was like, almost had a wardrobe malfunction. And he's like, I wish that would happen or something. You know, he just said something in passing. And the internet practically tried to me too him. It was like, I can't believe he's sexually harassing these girls saying he hopes their boobs pop out during a wrestling event. And I think we've just gone, like, and then the, obviously there's a lot of old school wrestling fans who are like, calm down. What are your take? What's your take on that? I mean, I don't. I haven't heard it, so I don't want to speak on something that I haven't seen mm -hmm. in context. I can see where, if you are a wrestler that you're trying to be taken seriously from that girl's sure. standpoint, that she might be like, "Come on, I'm trying to do sure. my job. I don't want you to wish that I got you know." But they're mm -hmm. at the same time, like, yeah, I don't think she I'm, said anything about it, but yeah, yeah, you know, I'm. Yeah. I could, I could see if somebody has a right to say something about it, it's her. If she felt sure. that way, if she felt like, hey, I'm trying to do my job, like yeah. stop wanting to just see my tits. Mm. But, you know, that it kind of does take the fun out of things yeah. if you're used to wardrobe malfunction. Which, which is interesting because I feel like he, be, Jim, gained popularity in the Attitude Era 90s where it was about that sort of product. Yeah. And then now it's like, well, I can't, I can't say the things I would, which made me popular. Um, and I, and the internet, our fans can correct us. I don't know who the female wrestler was involved. If it's Tessa Blatchard or someone else, please uh, leave me a comment below so I know I, I didn't research this before we talked about it. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, so that was fun to watch. Yeah. Thank you, Amy, for joining us. Mm -hmm. Again, Amy is brand new to wrestling, so leave us comments below what we should watch. Definitely more ECW stuff if you have recommendations. Yeah. This is my, I think, third introduction to yeah. ECW, and so far oh. it's like three for three. What did what did we see so far? The Sandman, and I don't remember who. Oh he was. yeah, we didn't record that. We was just. Oh, it was just for. Sand. It was before we watched the other match. Okay, Sandman, and then the Van Dam versus John Cena. Mm -hmm. Can't yeah. see me first. She's a big John Cena fan. No, I just found this. <laughs> um, and this. Now. Yeah. The first match you saw, like, the, not, the first moment you saw was One Night Stand again, the WWE. Yeah. And it was Sandman came out to interrupt their Nick Densmore Eugene character who was like, oh, I'm just got a special oh, needs. Oh, yeah. And Sandman came out and just hit to um, Metallica and yeah. hit him on the head with the cane awesome. a few times did like could be in a goofball is yeah. it this is serious Philadelphia sports yes so and I think maybe that, really love Philly sports like I would <laughs> I definitely think, on this and that one may have been taped in New York but either way like it was it. it was the Philly crowd or whatever you want to call it <laughs> So, um, great stuff. Make sure to click like and subscribe. We have new videos all the time. And I may uh, have queued up, if you want to watch, 
It's Spike Dudley versus Bam Bam Bigelow. So I don't know what that means, but I'm in. <laughs> All right, we're gonna see um, Bam Bam Bigelow maybe throw Spike across an arena. It'll be amazing. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Click <laughs> like, subscribe. We have new videos all the time. I'm Snowman Jones. I'm Amy. And I am out of here. <laughs> now let's hear a special word from MMA featherweight champion Felicia Spencer. She has a follow-up on Gabby's incredible weight loss with energy. Congratulations, Gabby. 20 pounds is a huge accomplishment. I'm so glad that the energy is working out for you. It's so important to find something that works for you. You know, everybody is different. And when you find that thing, you know, just keep running with it. Uh, I hope that you're, uh, you keep reaching your goals and, you know, becoming more and more healthy. Uh, for me, you know, just finding new, new ways to keep it, keep it new and exciting is always uh, what I'm looking for. You know, some new recipes or a new, you know, a new activity, that kind of thing always uh, keeps it interesting. So uh, anyway, again, great work. Uh, keep it up. So why not start today? I use Synergy as a pre-workout. It helps boost my energy, so I'm ready to kick my workout into high gear. There's an Amazon link below. Pick it up with Amazon Prime today.